I'm Steve Torano. Welcome to Ask a Real Expert. Guys are asking about training splits and training routines. In my opinion, one of the least effective training splits is an upper and lower body training split. Remember, when you talk about upper body, you're talking about five body parts, chest, back, biceps, triceps, and shoulders. Five body parts. And then when you're talking about the lower half, obviously you're talking about legs. I mean, if you're going into the gym and you're training five body parts and you're in shape and you need to hit those body parts hard with a lot of sets and a lot of exercise, you can do it. It's just not, in my opinion, an effective way of training. If you're brand new, hell, not a problem. Train your whole body because you don't need tons of stress to start the muscle growth process. But as you get in better and better shape and your muscles become used to working out, I don't think a upper and lower body split is effective. Now you got to remember, regardless of what your split is, if you train harder and add more sets and more reps and more weight, you'll get better results. But the problem is, is time. Man, we ain't got all day to hang out in the gym. We're not Arnold and Franco and all these guys who do this stuff for a living. We're trying to squeeze this in while we actually have a life, deal with our families, work our jobs, things like that. You also have to remember too that the harder you train, meaning if you train each body part once a week and you blast it hard, you're not going to be able to train that muscle as frequently as possible because again, it's going to need more rest and recovery. If you want to train a muscle more than once a week, let's say you want to train it twice a week based on whatever your split, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday split and then you repeat the process Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so basically that's training each body part twice a week. You might not be able to train as hard because again you've got two days of rest for that body part before you train it again. You train chest on Monday, you're gonna hit it again on Thursday. You train legs on Tuesday, you're gonna hit them again on Friday. So it doesn't allow for a lot of recovery. So if you are gonna be training a muscle more frequently you might have to back down the intensity. Now that doesn't mean you can't train hard and heavy. You might have to, uh, again, back down on the volume or the number of exercises. So if I was going to train each body part twice a week, I train each one once a week because I like to train hard, I like intense training, I like heavy, so on and so forth, and I don't want to train on the weekends. But if I was going to train each body part twice a week, let's say on a six day split, you know, chest and back on Monday, biceps and triceps on Tuesday, shoulders and legs on Wednesday, and then repeat the process Thursday, Friday, Saturday, take Sunday off. I would probably back down the intensity. I'd still lift heavy, but I would probably cut back on the number of sets, cut back on the number of exercises, because by the time that second workout rolled around, I want to make sure I'm recovered so when I work out the second time, uh, it's effective. I'm not just sort of building on the first workout which I'm still trying to recover from. And that's a, the misconception that guys have. Uh, if you train too often, you're not going to be recovered from your prior workout. And remember, we want full recovery from these workouts. If you're a beginner, you might need more time with regards to recovery because you're brand new at it. You're going to be very, very sore. If you're an intense trainer, if you train hard, if you train long with lots of sets, lots of exercises, and big poundage, you're going to need more recovery. So again, if I was going to train each body part twice a week, or if I was going to train each body part more frequently, I would back down the volume of my training. Not the intensity, I'd back down the volume in the form of reps, sets, and uh, exercises in order to get an intense workout but yet not make it so intense that I need four and five days to recover because again I want to be ready for the second workout of the week. You can also think of an alternative way of working out is the first training of the week for that muscle is hard and heavy and the second workout is a little lighter uh, with more reps uh, but again who likes training light? I'm Steve Torano. Train smart, train hard.